Hello and welcome back to another How It Works. Today we're talking about the farming station. This is a block in the Ender IO mod and what it is for is to automate your farming. So if you've ever been looking forward to 1.8 where you can sit and have villagers farm your wheat for you rather than laying down acres and acres of it manually, this is the item for you. To make it, we have four electrical steel and we have a machine chassis, two pulsating crystals with a basic capacitor between them and a diamond hoe. Now to make the machine chassis you got four iron ingots arrayed in such a fashion with iron bars in the corners. The basic capacitor is four gold nuggets with a copper ingot and two redstone. And to make the pulsating crystals, you have these pulsating iron nuggets surrounding a diamond. And to make pulsating iron, you just have an iron and an ender pearl in an alloy smelter, right here and here. Now this is to make the electrical steel. You got your iron, coal powder, or pulverized coal, and you got silicone over here. And it'll create the electrical steel for you. So that's how to build it. It is fairly expensive with the diamond and the ender pearl requirements, so it's definitely going to be something you'll want to earn. Over here we have our basic setup. The farm station here actually makes this large of a plot. So that's seven by seven with no mods. And you have to supply it with a hoe or an axe, depending on what you're wanting to do. And you have to supply it with seeds. And it'll actually plant and hoe the ground and harvest as well. So it'll kind of maintain its own supply of seeds. I have this little array here of ender IO piping. We have our energy source coming from a capacitor over here. We have our redstone signal traveling along an insulated redstone conduit with a switch to control it. And I have this nice little item pipe here that feeds into this chest. Now what we'll want to do is make sure we have this in both extract and in mode so that we can feed stuff over to it such as hose when it runs out and allow to receive seeds if it runs out, doubtful, but most especially send all the overflow out to this chest here. Now of course you could just have a one way from this farm station to a chest and find another way to pipe in hose or do it manually. I'll show you that in a bit. But this is our station. We can flip it on here you'll see it'll automatically hoe the ground and plant. This is the pattern that it lays for our southwest corner here. And as you can see, it only holds 16 seeds at a time at this level. And we can go ahead and say plant the northeast corner as well. So you can have it manage quadrants individually like that. Now, if you upgrade your farming station with a double layer capacitor. Note it won't take a single layer or a basic capacitor, but you have to start with a double. It'll now plant this size. It just adds one row to each side. So we got nine across. Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven across. So it adds two to each side. My mistake. So two to each side, and we can go ahead and throw a hoe in there and plant. And when we make it with an octatic capacitor in here, it'll actually grow it yet again by two rows. So now we have 13 by 13. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 15. Yeah, two per each side. So 15. And you can see we can plant different types in each quadrant. We actually can plant your regular carrots and your wheat 
and your potatoes as expected but some of the more interesting features is you can do melons and it'll automatically grid them out like so and you can do pumpkins as well and you can also do trees now I've seen that the dark oak trees actually come out with the most density for this thing to have a good time with we got our diamond axe and our dark oak saplings now if you noticed in here we can support higher amounts of seeds with the higher capacitors so for here we could actually store 32 with the double capacitor and 64 in our octatic so that comes in handy especially dealing with trees where you have a lot of seeds coming off of these and the nice thing is it'll actually harvest the leaves as well and be able to collect all of those seeds which is why I have the dark oak kind of spread out like I do in my actual world I actually have it spread out a little bit better and only have a grid of four instead of doing these extra side bits here those are kind of unnecessary but you can see I got this funny little contraption hanging off the end here and what this is it's just an auto workbench that will automatically make our diamond hose for us if you have an iron farm an iron hoe would be a very good idea here and we just have a chest and a hopper to feed it and we have some ender IO piping to bring the item out into the farming station so if it ever runs out it'll auto fill itself now we have a box here to take all of our wood out and here let me show you what it looks like when there's some space in there it'll decide to actually chop down one of these trees there it goes you can see because there wasn't enough space in the farming station to take everything it just left it here floating on the ground so you'll want to be aware of that it can only handle four stacks of 64 so I have noticed that these dark oak trees since they are so big will actually overflow these farming stations but hey that's not a bad thing when you're getting that much resource so definitely a very nice item it definitely saves you a lot of time setting up farms like this where you're trying to harvest your sugar cane and that kind of stuff now I did notice that it has a picture of a cactus green but I have not seen it actually able see right here but I have not actually seen it able to do cactus or sugar cane so you'll still have to have those kinds of farms but these kinds of farms here where you're growing melons or pumpkins are pretty much a thing of the past now that you have this farming station you can build so I hope you enjoy it. It is a very nice piece of work in this Ender IO mod, and they're very fun to play with, and they give you a very, very large amount of resources. So I hope you have a place to store them. So enjoy, and have a good evening.